So today, I have a little short message before we pray. I have a touch the message. Give your worries to God. Anytime me and you we sit down thinking worries, especially when we come to this country, it's a lot of worries. But Bible is telling us that we shouldn't worry about anything. Anything we should leave it to God. The God who feed best. They don't have farm or any place, but they are happy. In the early morning, you can see they are singing, shouting, praising the Lord. That's what God wants to do and me to do. But sometimes, as we are human beings, we worry. But today, he's telling us that you shouldn't worry. Because if he will not provide for you, a day will not come. As my brother said, some people have a lot of money. I always said, our queen, which or what money? Last week I saw that the money they give to that palace is not easy. You and me, our tax. Oh, I said, wow. So all this money go to that place. They were staying the TV. I said, see, so if they said they should bring money to let her leave, they can't. But it didn't happen like that. So if you and me, we are alive today, why will we worry? And let me tell you one thing. Worry, worry, worry. What do you worry? If you worry, can you solve the situation? It brings sleepless. It brings anxious, anxiety, a lot of problem, heart attack. Oh, brother Moses have this. And I want that too. And you haven't reached the stage. So why did you put that burden in you? Give it to God. God said he have a time for each and every one. Especially I'm standing here. I don't know that I'm going to come to Europe. But when the time came, I was here. The same plus you. I was working with somebody. He, he had money. He went to British Embassy. They declared him. They didn't give him the visa. You understand? But he has money. But we, even if we didn't come straight, we pass, 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 and reach here. So the God who let you come here is able to do anything for you. So today, as we are going to pray, don't worry. Tell the maker what you need. Worship him. One thing I noticed that if we, we, we have faith in him and we worry, we, we, we submit him that he can't do anything. So God, God doesn't want such thing. He wants to, to give it to him. So I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 going. Hallelujah. That is the word of God. Matthew says 25. Therefore I tell you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. It's not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the best of the air. They don't sow or reap or store away in bins, and yet your heavenly Father feed them. Are you not more value than they? Can you can any one of you, by worries, add a single hour to his life? This is the word of God. Hallelujah. The worries, it brings sleepless. Let me tell you, I've been in that situation. I know how it is. Even you can sleep a little bit and the heart is pumping. So even if you have 20 years, the worries will reduce the age because it makes some people old than their age because of their worry. Today, I, the word of God is telling you and me, we shouldn't worry. We should give everything to him. He said, everything, give thanks to him. He created you. Did you know the day and the time your mom and your daddy conceived? They sleep together every day. 
Maybe one year, two years, but one day, one day, your mommy was pregnant with you. That's it. Think. Yes. Think, think of that. Today, I'm telling you, think of that. You can sleep 120, but not all will bring a baby. That is the word of God. So God knows a time and a perfect day. <laughs> Even some people, they said nine months, but the nine months will pass before you will come. Do you know the food you eat in your mother's womb? But God has provided all this for us to become. I always said, God chose me to be black. I can't change it. And I'm black, isn't it? Some people are, uh, uh, what should I say? Different color, chocolate color. You see, yesterday I was telling my wife, I said, when you are working in the street, now in this summer, I'm learning something. God created and everyone different. You see the body because the white they expose themselves. Even I was telling her, did you did you check the mirror before they come out? Yeah, because you can see somebody, everything is there. So did he look at the mirror before he came out? Some make makeup, some doesn't. Some want to be somebody, but they can't. They want to change their life, but they can't. God created you who you are. So why are you worried? Because they saw something celebrated in the TV. They want to be like that person. <laughs> and when they did it, it made them ugly. Me to me, that's what I see it. But that's why I said, did they check the mirror before they came out? So why we worry about everything? God said, leave everything to him. Hallelujah. As a child of God, don't worry. Give everything to God. 28, he said, and why do you worry about clothes? See how the flower of the field grow. They don't labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in his all splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God closed the glass of the faith, which is here today and tomorrow, is thrown into the fire, will he not more close you of a little faith? So don't worry. Hallelujah. Oh, little faith. I always say faith is very important in our Christian journey. Faith. If you don't have faith today, I am telling you, pray for God for faith. Because without faith, you can't do nothing in this earth. We believe that this earth exists by faith. He said, those who live by the Spirit are the children of God. So the Spirit tells you that this great, God created everything. And He created you and me in His image. This is what those who doesn't go to church or as a Christian, they don't get it. They seek on their own way because as my mom said, their understanding and their knowledge and their education, they think they can do everything. Yes, but God, Paul said he can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthened him. Paul was educated. But when he encountered Jesus Christ at the road of Damascus, he said that education is foolishness. So he changed to seek what is in the Bible. So if you want to be wise, go to the Bible. God will teach you. Today, we don't have much time. So I will take another from Psalm 125, verse one Psalm 125 verse 1 Amen Psalm 125 verse 1 said 
Those who trust in the Lord are like mountain Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. As the mountain surrounding Jerusalem, so that the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. This is the word of God. I will say trust. I cannot walk with my church mother, which I don't trust him. So God wants you to trust him. No matter how the situation is, trust him, God will provide. God will provide. Because he knows you. He created you. So without trust in him, our Christian journey also is meaningless. Trust him, hardship, good time, trust him. He said, all things, we need to go to our knees and pray to him. Sometimes, one thing I notice is God doesn't want you to think that it's you. <coughs> Jesus knew that the disciples on the sea the wind will blow, but he told them to go. He was testing them to see what they would do. The same thing me and you. Sometimes he lets something come to your way to see if you have faith or you trust him. So if that come and you couldn't stand and you waver, he laugh at you. Oh, little faith. Trust God that no matter what God will provide, Trust him and put everything in him because he know you. He created you. He formed you. He said before you think something in your mind, he know already. When Adam and Eve sinned, God know it. But he asked, where are you? You think God don't, don't know where they are. He want them to say something. Where are you? So no matter where you are, God said, he know you. Some come Monday. Some come Tuesday. Some come until Sunday. <laughs> you understand? Sometimes when you think God works, you don't understand it. Even the twins, they come the same day, but sometimes you see the, the face of our DNA is uh, not DNA there. They are distant. Their habit is different. But they came one day. But they, they, some, sometimes one will be little tall. And sometimes one will be good and one will be harsh. But they came the same day. God was. He knew everything before we came. So today, as we are going to pray, Mama said this, trust him. Had faith in him and trust him. If it's not going well, trust him that appropriate time he will come to your aid. We have six o'clock morning and six o'clock in the evening. God provides for his people. Nobody is going out and without food. No matter how it's hard, I Proper time, you get something to eat. Because God look after everybody. Even the mad people in the road, God feed them. So today, as we are going to pray, if we don't have trust, if we don't have faith, I think we need to pray. I will stop here. So our prayers, we are going to repeat what we did on Friday. I don't know, it touching me, very, very touching me. Psalm 139. Let's base on that and pray. Psalm 139. Let me read. He said, You have searched me, Lord, and know me. God is telling you today that He has searched you and know. You know when I sit and when I rest. You perceive my thought from afar. You desire my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. 
God is telling us today he's familiar with all our way. Don't think you are hiding something from God. Open up today if you have sinned. Open up to him to help you so that you will not fall into the temptation again. He's familiar. Familiar to your ways. Hallelujah. Before a word of my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You have me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lifty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where will you go from the spirit of the Lord? Where, where? There's nowhere you can hide. Hallelujah. When can I free from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rose on the wings of the dew, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guard me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say sorry, the darkness will hide me, and the light became night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is like the darkness is as light to you, for you created my inmost being. You need me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearful and wonderful made. Yes. As you're sitting there, I'm standing here. God is telling us that we are wonderful and fearful made. As I said, my face is different. Yours is different. The white man has created a machine. If you put your face there and Mami Difo come and put his face there, it's different. So even bank account, they said you can put your face there. Nobody can take your money. Even your child, you are born. You can put your face. It's different. See, God wonderful. So you are fearful and wonderful made. Nothing can change it. And nobody also can change it. Somebody will take Kamika and breach his face and do everything. But it doesn't change nothing. What God has created in you is the same. So trust him. Have faith in him. No matter is what is hard for you, put petition on him and wait upon the appropriate time. He doesn't rush and it's not too late. He knows the time he will open the door for you. Just go to your knees as Mami Difo said, how many years? Two good years. But God was laughing at her. Why are you are rushing? I have a praise for you. He waited and now he's happy to God the praise. So the work, the husband, the wife, anything you are seeking, just have faith in him. So far as you are not going to the outdoor to worship them, and you are waiting upon the Lord, he will come to your aid. Because David said, he's a child now, he has grown up. He hasn't seen nobody, nobody who worship God, beg for bread. Except you, you, you do it 50-50. If you are righteous in him, and I will show you today that the, uh, nobody is righteous. It's only Jesus. So the righteous come from Jesus. So if you don't trust him and have faith in him, where will you get the righteous? Today I'm telling you, Elijah prayed that there is no rain. Three years and he prayed, the rain came. That's a fervent prayer. Let me tell you thing, but he has afraid. He ran from Jezebel. So who is righteous? But because he trusts God, that God will do it. So it come, the righteous come from Jesus to do that work, not because of him. You get my point? If it's him, he was afraid. Even he said, oh God, all of them has got God laugh. I said, see, I have how many people I had them. They haven't bowed. Yes, they haven't bowed to the bed. 
don't think don't think of that at all but have faith and trust in the Christian journey that's what Jesus did today I'm putting your mind in something you see he prayed and it's happened but he called upon the rain and he came he did a lot of miracles but one time he ran away this is the Christian journey you and me we are going so if you think you are righteous will cover you la 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 but trust God and obey it's not because you have nobody is righteous so you have license to go and do what you shouldn't do but just put your trust in him the righteous of Jesus that's why he said he's finished on the cross because he has finished everything that you and me we need so if calamity is coming and you go on you are kneel and you pray to him he look at you my son come my daughter come don't rely on your knowledge and your understanding or your righteousness he won't help but trust Jesus Christ that no matter how he will help you amen 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 he said I praise you because I am fearful and wonderful made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hiding from you. When I was made in a secret place, when I was waving together in the deeps of earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. And the day ordained for me were written in your book before one of them can come to be. You see, the days, the days is written in the Lord book. It's wonderful. So if he has said, Pastor Kache, you will reach 40 before you, you get this. And I'm 30. And I'm, I'm, I'm rushing for it. You see, it's like a child. When a child born, he started crying. What do you call the car part? Cut part. He do like this. One day you see he stand up. He take one. He fell down. Next time he will take two. He fall down. Gradually, you will see he running. He's running. So don't rush things. Just wait for God. The appropriate time he will come to your aid. God knows you because He said He know you are innermost. He created you. Did you know what he used? And he breathed on you and you became a human being. You see, this knowledge, technology, can they do that? Sometimes you say, oh, you have one man, two months to go, but it was past. Some will come through, but some will not come. Hallelujah. So let's have faith and trust him because he is the I am that I am. How precious to me all you are taught. God, how vast is my son of them. When, where to, where are to count them? They will unnumbered. The grace of son, when I wake up, I'm still with you. If only you God will slay the wicked away from me who are broad thirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversary misuse your name. Hallelujah. It's right. You are broad thirsty. Somebody can laugh with you. Somebody can do everything to you. But in a heart or his heart, we think evil against you. Don't put your trust in a human being. A man may, somebody who doesn't want you to go up, he will laugh. Oh, we thank God, we thank God. When, when he turned back, he said, Then so obey. Human being, that's how we are. God knows it. He knows every and each one. But as a child of God, it's not because of that you hate people. 
He said, love them. Love them. So when they think back to you, God will repent for you. That is the word of God. Because you know him and you trust him. He misused your name. Even some will change your name to their friends. I thank God for prophet life. Always he said, if you have friend and he also have another friend, be careful. Because what you discuss, he will go and tell the other one and they, they will mock you. And they will say bad things. You understand? Sometimes he also will bring some and come to you and tell you. This is human being. Hallelujah. So why do you trust human being? Hallelujah. Trust God. Only God will never leave you or forsake you. Trust him in all your things. Yes, that I am that I am. He changed not. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord? And about those who are in rebellion against you, I have nothing but hatred for them. I condemn my enemy. Search me, God. This is the point I need. Search me, God, and I know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thought. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. This is our prayers. Can we all stand up?